Hi everyone, this is Inge. So I took an interview this week with Misty Heeman. Uh, Misty, she was a swimmer and she swam at the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney where she actually won a gold in the 200 meter butterfly and that's actually considered to be one of the biggest upsets in the Olympic history. Um, she was the captain of the swimming team in Stanford and she graduated from there. But she's actually from Arizona, so now she's swimming coach here at ASU, so she's one of my coaches. And she also has her own company and she teaches like swimming lessons and holds motivational speeches all over the world. Uh, before I interview uh, Miss Dees, like I knew her since she's been my coach for like a whole year now, but I wanted to know more about her. Uh, she missed the Olympics in 1996 by only three one hundredths of a second. And I wanted to know how she motivated herself after that and how she made it four years later. Um, I was really curious uh, what she was going to think as her biggest accomplishments as a leader and also what her like failures as a leader was. I started off by asking her what she thought was the most important trait to have as a leader. And she answered right away that it was honesty. Uh, later, she added that integrity and caring about the people you are leading is also very important. Uh, she's a very caring person herself, so like she all has all these three traits herself. She said that the best way to approach followers, in her, her opinion, is to be open-minded and ask questions. Uh, finding out who your followers are and what is the best way to lead each individual person, since everyone are different. Uh, some people like to visualize and some people like to hear, so in her coaching style she tries to figure out what each person needs. Next, I asked her if her gender has affected her leadership at all. So Misty is the only female coach here at ASU, so, and there are six other male coaches, so I wanted to know if that has been difficult or not. Um, when I asked her, she smiled and she said, yes, it has. Uh, at the beginning, they had to learn how to communicate with each other the right way and like a gender neutral way, so there would not be any misunderstanding between them. Um, Misty does a self evaluation each day to see uh, what she can do better and how she can fix the things that are going wrong each day. Uh, she also reads about leadership up a lot and to learn more and be better for herself. I asked her what her proudest moment as a leader was. And she said that her proudest moment is also one of her most disappointed moments in her career. So when she was at Stanford, she made the national team with six other girls, and that's pretty small in the swimming world. Um, they are, they were all really good, and they all made like national titles, but they had a chance to win the national title like overall. It came down to the last relay, and one of the girls in the team uh, she went four seconds slower than the rest all like all the rest of them and assuming that's four seconds is a lot uh, they uh, got second but they only lost by 1.5 points so that was really disappointed but as well like they did awesome as a team so she was really proud of what they could do only seven swimmers uh, misty was the captain of that team and she wishes like she wished that she could have done something for that girl because she did not feel involved with the team so Misty wanted to like help her so she would actually have swam faster. I feel like that story she told me like shows a lot how Misty is. She wants the best for everyone and she tries to engage each member of the team. Um, I was surprised that she did not mention that the most upsetting was upsetting one was the 1996 Olympics when she missed the games by only three one hundredths. So I asked her after that question like how she actually did it. Uh, how she was able to bounce back from it and she said that she was really upset and uh, she didn't have a goal like at that time so she took two weeks off swimming and she cried a lot and but then once she got back to the pool she realized that she loved to swim she loved to race the clock every day and see herself getting better each day so, and so like I loved when she was talking about that because she was so passionate about it and she was so senior um, the last question I asked her was what is the most fun and what is the most difficult thing about being a leader. She said that the hardest thing is that you can never do it perfectly. You can put in so much work and you can try, and but you may not reach every single follower. And then the best thing is seeing people succeed. Like seeing all the work that you have done and it has like 
paid off. Um, I learned a lot from Misty and though I was like interesting how much I could relate to the course um, because it was she's such a good person and I like she wants the best for everyone. Misty definitely falls under the reverend power I think since she's a huge role model for all of us but she also uses the reward power so it's funny uh, after every competition we have she calcul calculates like how closer we are to making it to nationals and the closer we are we'll get forks I have them like there's this small like that and then this makes us all like want to swim really fast so at the end of the competition we can see who has the most forks and of course like everyone wants to have the like most forks at the end so it's really cool um, I'm really happy that I got the opportunity to talk to Misty and I hope you guys enjoy this video as well thank you